Hi, I'm going to show you how to calculate the properties of light that's emitted from a light bulb. So let's say that we have a 60 watt light bulb and we're going to measure it somehow at a distance of two meters away. And I want to be able to predict using the laws of physics what the intensity of that light is at a distance of two meters away. I also want to be able to predict what the magnitude of the electric field will be and the magnitude of the magnetic field. And I'm also going to calculate the number of photons, or approximately the number of photons that are emitted per second by this light bulb. So these three things at a distance of two meters, and then the number of photons in a given time interval, number of photons per second that are emitted. Okay, so to determine the intensity at a distance of two meters, I'm gonna assume that the light is radiating outward in all directions equally. And I, with that, I can use the definition of intensity, which is power over area. And so if it's reading outward uh, equally in all directions, that area becomes the area of a sphere. So 4 pi r squared. And so uh, pretty easy to, count, to uh, put the numbers in, get an answer for the intensity. So 4 pi times the distance, so two, at two meters away, uh, the intensity will be 1.19 watts per square meter. Okay, for reference, the sun, sunlight, direct sunlight is roughly a thousand watts per square meter, so uh, this light certainly isn't going to blind you, and that's probably uh, consistent with your everyday experience of looking at a light bulb from a reasonable distance. Okay, so uh, now we can use the intensity to determine these two quantities. So I'm going to uh, just arbitrarily pick the electric field first, and there's a relationship between the intensity and the electric field, and it is one half the speed of light times the permittivity of free space times the magnitude of the electric field squared. So I'm looking for uh, this value here. Uh, these two are constants. This one I just calculated. So I should be able to do some algebra and grind out a solution for the electric field. So a few steps of algebra would give that the electric field is two times the intensity over C epsilon with a square root over it. Okay, so let's throw in the numbers and see what we get. So uh, it would be square root of two times 1.19 over speed of light, 300 million, uh, times uh, permittivity of free space, 8.854 times 10 to the minus 12. Okay, and I throw that into my calculator and I find that the magnitude of the electric field is 30 newtons per coulomb. Okay, so we, what do we compare that to? We can compare it to the electric, roughly the electric field that's typical uh, in the atmosphere. That's in the neighborhood of 100 newtons per coulomb. So uh, this isn't going to cause any lightning bolts or anything like that. It's a very reasonable electric field. Okay, so uh, next thing is to calculate the magnetic field. So magnetic field, fairly simple relationship between the magnetic field and the electric field. This is not a universal law of physics for how to calculate the, mag the magnetic field based on an electric field. This is only for electromagnetic waves. Be careful with that. Uh, but it is the electric field over speed of light. So we take 30, our electric field, over 300 million and calculate that the magnetic field would be one times 10 to the minus seven Tesla. That's a 10th of a micro Tesla, which is much less than the Earth's magnetic field around the surface, uh, which is somewhere between maybe 20 and 60 micro Tesla. So, you know, we're not gonna send um, magnets spinning or anything like that with this magnetic field. Okay, so next will be to calculate the number of photons in a given time interval. Um, all these calculations we're actually not going to use. We can actually get this directly from the power. So uh, first thing is to use the definition of power. So power is energy over time interval. So total energy emitted divided by the time interval. And then the energy that's emitted, if we're looking at this in terms of photons, is the number of photons 
times the energy of an individual photon. So n times an energy of an individual photon over time. Okay, so now we've got you know the n over t that we're looking for. Okay, but what about the energy of a photon? We need to calculate that somehow. Uh, I'm not going to get a number for it, but we need to get some symbols in there in order to get it in terms of things that we know. So one formula for the energy of a photon in terms of wavelengths, wavelength looks like this, hc over lambda, where h is the Planck constant, c is the speed of light, and lambda is the wavelength. So a typical light bulb, of course, is going to emit lots of different wavelengths. I'm just going to take the, you know, basically the middle of the spec visible spectrum and, and call it good. So this is going to be an approximate calculation. Keep that in mind. Okay, so I take this formula for the energy of an individual photon and shove it into this formula so that I have it in, uh, in terms of more things I know. So n over delta t stays there, and then I have... Uh, hc over lambda substitute in for the energy of the individual photon. Now all I have to do is uh, solve this formula for uh, n over delta t and then I'll throw in the numbers. So um, number of photons per time interval will be uh, equal to the power times the wavelength over Planck constant times the speed of light. Okay, so I know the power. That was given 60 watts. Wavelength, um, we're going to pick the roughly the middle of the visible spectrum. Actually, I'm going to go a little bit uh, towards the short end. Um, and then these two are constants that you should be able to uh, memorize or look up. Okay, so let's do that. So 60 for the power and then the wavelength. Uh, I'm just going to choose 500 nanometers. Uh, so I'm going to turn this into a squiggly line because not all the light is 500 nanometers. And then the uh, Planck constant, 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34. And times speed of light, 300 million. And I get an answer of 1.5 times 10 to the 20. And the units for that, okay, number uh, per in the SI units of time. So it would be inverse seconds. So it's really a frequency. Um, or you could you do that, you call that hertz if you wanted to. Um, so that's 150 quintillion uh, photons per second are being emitted by uh, a 50, 60 watt bulb, at least approximately. Okay, so that's it. Basically, I, I took a 60 watt light bulb, calculated the intensity, electric field and magnetic field at a distance of two meters away, and I calculated the number of photons uh, per second that are being emitted by that 60 watt bulb. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.